Paul VI new mass was an act of true revolution, said Bishop Snyder, noting that he was the first pope in 2,000 years who dared to make a revolution of the order of mass, a true a revolution. Bishop Snyder, who, off, who himself faced great trials as a child, if you read his book, um, Christus Vincit, he himself faced great trials as a child in order to practice the Catholic faith. He warned that the traditional liturgy could soon become consigned to the catacombs in order to pass the traditional liturgy on through the generations. Such a great liturgical treasure of the church as the traditional form of the mass represents cannot simply be destroyed, he said. This liturgical treasure is the property of the church, he added, not the private property of any particular pope. The current persecution against the right, which the Roman church jealously and unchangingly guarded during at least one millennium, therefore long before the Council of Trent, resembles now an analog situation of the persecution of the integrity of the Catholic faith during the Arian crisis of the fourth century. Bishop Snyder said those who at that time kept unchangingly the Catholic faith were banned by the vast majority of the bishops from the churches, and they were first to celebrate a kind of clandestine mass. Bishop Snyder also quoted extensively from the letters of St. Basil the Great, drawing a comparison between the hierarchy of saints, the saints' time, St. Basil, and the current era, noting first that today's clerics and bishops who promote impiety are promoted. Those who defect from the faith are promoted. Quoting directly from St. Basil's description about the church of his time, Bishop Snyder said, the doctrines of true religion are overthrown. The laws of the church are in confusion. The ambition of men who have no fear of God rushes into high posts and exalted office is now publicly known as the prize of impiety. <laughs> 